following stunts are performed by professionals. Do not attempt at home. A regular party balloon, but it's not full of air, it's full of hairspray. What do you think would happen when I set fire to it? It's going to go pop, right? What do you think would happen if we scaled it up a whole lot? To find out, I've recruited a team of scientists from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Today, I want to find out which of these four balloons, each one containing four different substances, is going to make the biggest explosion. All right, OK, yeah, so we're blowing going. some stuff up, all right? So in the first balloon, we have whipped cream. Now, the propellant, what's inside the can to push the whipped cream out, is actually the same stuff they use in rockets. That's really? why we've got whipped cream That's in there. That's awesome. But can this sweet mix of cream and nitrous oxide propellant really go off with a bang? In balloon number two, cornstarch, OK? You can burn that? You can burn that when it's in the air. 130 years ago, Minnesota, flower factory, boom. Exploded, killed nearly everybody in there. I didn't know baking would be so dangerous. Exactly. In balloon number three, hairspray. Final one, number four, is natural gas. I'm talking about the stuff you like on the stove. So what I want to know, is which of these four balloons is going to make the biggest explosion. To set them off, I've rigged a blowtorch on a swinging arm next to each balloon. When I release the arm, it'll set fire to the content. But the question is, which one is going to make the biggest kaboom? I'm going to go with the flower. OK, right then, Martin. Uh, I'm going to go with the natural gas. It just seems likely to make the biggest noise. Which one are you going to go for then, Katie? I'm also going to go for natural gas. Right, and Jeremy on the end. I'm going to go with the hairspray. I uh, yeah. threw it on a campfire once, made a big boom. You naughty boy. <laughs> Nobody for the whipped cream. Uh, no. Yeah, let's do, yeah. let's do this. this way. First up, guys, cornstarch. Yes. OK, three, two, one, hit it. This is Street Genius, where I challenge people to predict the outcome of some amazing experiments. What's going to happen next? You guys want to see this? Yeah. Hit it. Oh. I love taking science to the screen! Which of these four balloons is going to make the biggest explosion? We'll measure by the loudest bang. First up, guys, cornstarch. Yes. OK, three, two, one, hit it! Here it comes. Nice. The flower does burn, but the particles are packed so closely together in the bottom of the balloon that the oxygen can't reach them enough to cause a large explosion. The question is, is that the biggest one? No, no, oh, no, like no, no, no. But will the spray whipped cream and nitrous oxide combo burn any better? Six cans of whipped cream and air. Should we do this? Yeah. yeah. Let's do All it. Right. In three, in two, in one. No. Cream isn't flammable, and the nitrous oxide at this pressure doesn't burn. Next up, hairspray. Let's do it. OK, so here we go. Hairspray ready. In three, two, one, hit it! Oh! Did you feel the shock wave oh, from yeah. that? Oh, yeah. Right there, right there! A yeah. huge fireball. You reckon you can yeah. beat that? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to have a yes. Easily. Pop. Natural gas. Three, two, one. Go! Woo! Whoa! Oh. That was a good explosion, right? But it wasn't as big as the hairspray. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Oh. Yeah! We have Woo! a winner here. The hairspray Woo! produced the biggest bang. Yeah. All right, then. So why is that? Hairspray, dangerous stuff. The propellant inside a can of hairspray is both butane and propane. And that explains why the hairspray burns so rapidly and creates such a huge shockwave that we felt, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. So that is why hairspray is number one, baby. Yes, All righty. All right, so what did I win? The whipped cream. Open your mouth. Get it in there. Oh, no, no. Keep going. <laughs>